Hi and welcome to another video. I've just received this email from Contabo talking about their new dedicated servers in the AMD line. So here there are two products AMD Genoa 24 and AMD Ryzen 12 and the first one is running on AMD Epic 9224 which has 24 cores and the second one is AMD Ryzen 9 7900 12 cores. So if you're a personal user you definitely go with this. If you're looking to do business maybe web hosting you should consider going with this. So let me just open them and we're going to see what else we can configure. Right off the bat, I'm being told that this comes with 1TB SSD and the one for Ryzen 9 7900 comes with 1TB NVMe. And this is 96 euros per month and the MD Epic is 239 euros per month. The one for Genoa, you can see for me, it's been translated to dollars and that is $289. The one running on Ryzen 9 is $123 per month. You can compare around and you're going to see that these are very affordable offers for dedicated servers are very affordable. And unlike Contabo Cloud, you're not going to experience any problems because this is a dedicated server. The problem you experience on cloud such as CPU sharing with other people and CPU still, you're not going to experience that because you're on a dedicated server. Let's see what kind of customization you can make if you decide to order this dedicated server from Contabo. This is for AMD Epic 9224. You can see the best price is that. And if you go for the monthly plan, that is your monthly price. If you go for three months, you'll save 72, six months, you save 144, 12 months, you'll save $289. Of course, this depends on you and your budget. And then another thing that might add additional costs to your monthly pricing is your region. If you go with the EU data center, you don't pay anything extra. But if you go for any of the other locations in the UK, United States, Asia in Singapore and Asia in Japan and Asia in India, you're going to pay an additional location cost. So that will be added there. For instance, if you're in India and you choose that, you'll see your monthly pricing will go up with $87. So let me put it back on EU. And then for the memory as well, you get free 256 GB of RAM. If you need additional memory, it will be 244, 247 more. And you can see that has been added as well to your monthly plan. So I'll go with the default of 256 GB. And then as for storage, you get 1 TB of SSD included. So you can click there on add storage and then select. Oh, apparently this doesn't support NVMe. But this one, if you are to come, the one for MD Ryzen 9, down here under storage, you're going to see you can select NVMe, SSD, even HDD. So coming back to Ryzen Epic. So this only supports SSD. So I'm going to click there on SSD. If you want to set up RAID, you can select there to set up RAID. You'll select the RAID that you prefer. Software RAID, you're going to need to add an additional disk and you're also going to need to make this the boot drive for your software RAID. And if you want to use hardware RAID, that is also possible. You can select hardware RAID, that will be free. Hardware RAID, you don't pay for that, you only pay for the disk. The two disks for 1TB will be $23 extra. You can only set up RAID 1 or you can go with hardware RAID 10. But if you go with RAID 10, you're going to need to add two additional disks. So RAID 1 is basically just mirroring the data. So it will mirror things on this drive. So if one drive goes down, the other one will take over. So even if you buy the two disks, you can see you still get the one disk. I wish there was a way for you to just use this and another disk so you don't have to have an extra disk. But if you set up RAID, it's going to be like you have one TB and you also have an extra TB. So that is that. And then if you want dedicated GPU, you can get GeForce GT 1030 2 GB. That is $22 a month. And there will be a setup fee of $22, roughly $22. And then 
Nvidia or you can go with N Nvidia A2 16 GB and that's going to be 274. On the Ryzen 9 one as well, you can also add GPU for 274, but this side you only get Nvidia Tesla A2 16 GB GPU. As for image, choose whichever operating system you want to use here. Choose the OS from there. You can install any of this. If you're in a corporate environment and you want to go with Linux, Ubuntu has Ubuntu Pro, which to some people doesn't mean anything, but Ubuntu Pro is very helpful for those people that are in a corporate environment and just need to know that if things go wrong, you can rely on some company to help you to get things right or to help you troubleshoot things. But if you have the skills to do your own troubleshooting, when things go wrong, you can always go with Debian or any of the other operating systems. As for networking, you get one gigabit per second, that is free, and then bandwidth 32 TB. If you need extra, you can always pay more for that as well. And then IPv4, you can choose how many extra IPs you're going to need. IPv6, IPv6 is free. And all these other add-ons, you need backup. Just look at them. You need KVM access there. You can fast track your setup with $40. <laughs> I don't know why they're doing this, but yeah, it is a dedicated server. Someone will have to go and set it up for you for it to be ready. So that's something you should bear in mind. It's not a click and you'll receive it instantly. This means that someone will have to go in and set up the server on your behalf. And then that's when you will be given access to the server. If you need the server managed, it can also be managed by the Contabo staff, but I don't know how reliable they are at this. So that's on you to do your research. Once you have all the settings you need, you can just click next to create your account. Or if you already have an account, you can go ahead and pay for your server. If you need more, you can always order up to a maximum of five. All right, so I just wanted to let you know that this is an email I got from Contabo talking about the new MD dedicated servers. If this is something that is of interest to you, then I'm happy to pass on the message to you. And if you're going to use the servers, I will put the links in the description. Feel free to support me. I will greatly appreciate it. If you need any help in setting up your dedicated server, feel free to let me know. See you next time.